Ooh. Surprised you. Who surprised you guys the most at the combine? Ooh, uh, surprise. You know what, I would say Lamar Jackson, mm -hmm. not running. That, that was the biggest surprise. You know, I, I said it before, if you have a certain strength, you go out there, you display that strength. When everybody's watching, and not only everybody watching, but it's the first time you get to send that message to all your peers where they're gonna walk into their careers knowing he got the best of me at the combine. I said, I only could do a few things very well and I knew I could jump really high. In 2003, I decided I was gonna jump the highest vertical. So for the rest of my career, every guy that I came out with, every time they saw me, they always nodded me and said, hey, Nate, we know that you got hops. And that's respect. So I felt like if he did it on that stage, it's a certain level of respect. And it's a message to the world that when this young man gets the ball in his hands and he decides not to pass, mm -hmm. just like he did in college, he's gonna score touchdowns on you, just like we saw with Deshaun Watson, just like we saw way back with Michael Vick and every other running quarterback, Russell Wilson, and all the guys that can do that very well. That's his skill set. He should have displayed that and showed it off. The guy who surprised me the most was Saquon. It's truly Saquon Barkley, and maybe he shouldn't have. This past fall, it was Saquon Saturdays. Every single Saturday, Twitter was just, he took over the entire medium. Everybody just gushing about him. So he shouldn't have surprised me, and yet he still did. Like, I knew he was good. I didn't know he was 41-inch vertical, 29 reps. This guy owned the city of Indianapolis. Peter, you were there. I never truly bought before the combine that someone might take him number one overall. I know there was chatter, but I didn't buy it. I do buy it now because he was that good, and I was shocked. Uh, you know, it, it was truly Saquon's day on Friday, and then on Saturday, Josh Allen throwing those 70-yard passes <laughs> didn't necessarily surprise me, but then to actually see it happen, you're like, wow, okay, that's real, that's legit. Guy had a, a subpar completion percentage in college, and they say he might not be able to throw the underneath pass, but I'll tell you, he could throw the deep pass. He was going deep. Look at some of these throws. These are the underneath ones, but if we get the long bombs that you see, mm -hmm. this one here, this is with such ease. He just kind of flicks it, and it goes 60 yards. Mm. It was truly a show. They say that he is the best arm to come out of college since Jamarcus Russell, who people talk about as if he's Paul Bunyan with his arm. So Josh Allen, what Jamarcus didn't have was all of the, de the dedication and desire and all that. Mm -hmm. Josh Allen seems to have it, too. So he also put himself in the conversation for number one overall.